Hello and welcome to Editrainix, your best buddy helping you study abroad or apply for visas. I am Nandini Vas and this is part 2 of the video, Study Finance and Accounting in Australia. So if you haven't watched part 1 yet, then go ahead and see the video, I'll put the link in the description below. So in the last video, you understood about accounting and finance in detail and also the skills required in these fields. Now, in this video, I will be telling you about the best places to study accounting in Australia entry requirements and qualifications, courses available in accounting, duration of the study program, job opportunities in the field and salary of accountants in Australia. Watch the video till the end to understand about how the salary of an accountant are broken down into percentiles. So let's get started. There are a number of bachelor's degrees in accounting including minors in accounting and related areas of study as well as bachelor's programs that lead to careers as accountants, auditors or some of the alternate careers. Here is a list of accounting related degrees for different bachelor's degrees. So according to the type of qualification it is necessary to meet different entry requirements for universities in Australia. Here are the general entry requirements for universities in Australia. So, Bachelor of Accounting degrees can lead to a wide variety of careers. The majority of graduates in this field become accountants or auditors. But there are opportunities, other opportunities as well. Like uh, there are uh, several types of accountants including public accountants, management accountants, government accountants, started accountants, forensic accountants and CPAs that is started professional accountants. However, furthermore courses are Diploma of Accounting, Master of Professional Accounting, Bachelor of Accounting, Certificate for in Accounting, Associate Degree of Accounting, Graduate Diploma, Advanced Diploma and Graduate Certificate in Accounting. So Accounting and Finance study durations vary depending on the study level. Here is a summarized view of the duration of the study programs available in Australia. Now with a degree in Accountancy and Finance, you may be able to find jobs in related fields including those directly related to your degree and others where degree would be useful. Here are a few examples. So salaries for accountants are primarily determined by the combination of experience, personal skills and qualification. So remuneration can also be influenced by a company's industry and size. Now, the finance function continues to evolve in times of uncertainty as technology continues to automate many aspects of the accounting process. Therefore, a candidate's familiarity with the latest software and data management techniques will help determine an appropriate accountant's salary. According to the Robert Half Salary Guide, salaries are broken down by percentile. As a result, you can see how different skills, experience and qualification contribute to the salary of an accountant in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane or Perth and how they are related to related positions. So the first one is 25th percentile accountant. So in this percentile, accountants are typically less experienced and may have recently graduated with a bachelor's degree in business, economics or commerce. So under the supervision of a department head, Accountants in this salary percentile may be tasked with uh, reconciling accounts, maintaining fixed assets and contributing to regular reports. There may be wo uh, work opportunities within smaller, less complex organizations or departments of larger organizations where tasks will be undertaken as a part of a broader team. Second is 50th percentile accountant. The candidates in this accountant salary percentile will have acquired some experience and have a good understanding of basics of accounting. The role itself will likely be of average complexity involving general ledger reconciliations, the preparation of month-end reports, assisting in the preparation of statutory financial reports and supervising less experienced members of the finance department. This salary percentile may be ideal for accountants who have recently qualified as chartered accountants or certified public accountants. And the third one is 75th percentile accountant. An accountant in this percentile is expected to have more than average experience backed by strong forecasting and budgeting skills as well as the ability to explain complex accounting concepts to management. So in order to fit in this accountant salary range, you must have either the CA 
or CPA certification as the role is complex, often involving collaboration with external auditors and meeting statutory requirements. So accounting functions can be streamlined through an awareness of how technology is evolving. Employers may also compete for uh, qualified accounting talent within this salary band and industries with a reasonable level of competition. Therefore, if you are interested in becoming an accountant and a member of a professional accreditation body such as CPA, an undergraduate degree in accounting might be a good choice. Nevertheless, some graduates choose to earn a master's degree as well. So Chartered Accountants and the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants can also earn additional optional certifications. So depending on the field, some careers other than accountant or auditor require additional training or certification. So that is all about studying finance and accounting in Australia. If you want to know about other study streams, then subscribe our channel and stay tuned for further updates. Till then, take care. Thank you. With every passing day, more and more students are joining Edutrainix's highly successful PT courses, which are very result-oriented yet inexpensive, which you can join from anywhere in the world and realize your dreams of studying or settling abroad. So if you're struggling with your English test requirements, join us today for guaranteed success.